My name is Niels E. Nielsen. I'm working at Leamfjord Danske Rådfugter, where we are growing carrot, root parsley, parsnip and red beets. We are located in the north of Denmark, where the climate is perfect for growing uh, root vegetables. We are doing the growing and packing ourselves, supplying directly to the supermarket. I saw carbon robotics on the social media a few years back, and I thought that was the way forward to get rid of all the hand weeding and the chemicals we're using in the agro-industry. Uh, I reached out to Carbon at that time, but they weren't ready to go to Europe. A little while back, Brad came back to us and said, the machine is ready for Europe now, are you still interested? Gamlestra and Berlinfjord together went onward with the project and uh, invested in a machine, simply because we could see the benefit of getting higher yields, having less people weeding, and using uh, less herbicides in the conventional crops. So for those reasons, we went forward and bought a machine. One of the big benefits with the laser weeder is that we don't have to work with the hand weeding. So we expect a field yield increase. When you hand weed, you pick out a carrot here and there. When the laser robot goes through, it doesn't pick out the carrots. It kills more weeds than when you hand weed. But we've only been running with the machine for six weeks, so it's too early to say how the result will be. We'll evaluate in the end of the season, but at the moment it looks promising. We looked at a lot of different machines to solve the issue with the weeds and gotten down to that. The only one that have capacity and the efficiency that we are looking for is carbon robotics. There have been some issues due to that it's the first machine in Europe that we have had to work on the weeding model, but we've had really good support from the support team. And uh, we are standing with a machine that's delivering what we expected when we bought the machine after six weeks work, which is a little bit impressive when you see what climate it's coming from and coming to Europe. From an operator's point of view, you have to be a good driver to sit in the seat. There is quite a few things you have to be aware of and take care of. But when the drivers have learned how to do it, it's running really well. It's always a big worry when you have to import a new machine that you don't know what the support is. Is the company going to be there in 10 years? What's the machine capable of? What's the support going to be in uh, Denmark? So we had a lot of worries to get to the point where we actually bought the machine. But talking with the sales department at uh, Carbon, they really got us convinced that they could handle the challenge. And looking at it today, they really did a good job at it. In vegetable industries, you really need to focus on new technologies to bring them in to make a better crop, being better for the environment, or else we are not going to make a future for our kids.